Your Neighborhood Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Brett Cummins and Perella Lewis. This is Weather for Arkansas. And welcome back to Weather for Arkansas. A little bit quieter in the weather department today, although we still were not dry throughout the state. We're well, sure not. A lot of rain, a lot of clouds today, keeping temperatures in the 70s and lower 80s right now. It feels great outside. Lots of clouds and even some more rainfall on the way. In fact, check out your extended forecast because we've put in a chance of rain for Thursday and for Friday. Temperatures remaining relatively mild. The end of the weekend, by the way, dry and warming up just a bit. Your live neighborhood weather net conditions are actually taking us outside right now into a community where it is relatively mild in Pine Bluff, 86 degrees. You'll notice winds out of the south at 3. Got a little bit of less than an inch of rainfall today, which isn't too bad because take a look at some of the other rainfall totals. North Little Rock and Little Rock, about an inch. This is as of last night and this morning. Batesville, an inch and a half. Conway, more than two inches. Faithville, about six inches of rainfall. Satellite radar showing the bulk of it is now off to the southeast. Just some lingering lower level thicker clouds for the rest of us as our cold front is now a stationary front and is now stalled off into the northwest, which means it will not be affecting us a whole lot. It also means that it didn't wipe out any of the moisture, didn't bring about any drier air. So there's still some moisture for some more rain to contend with, although it's currently quite mild throughout the state. 80 in Russellville, 78 in the Queen, 84 in Russellville, and here in Little Rock. Speaking of moisture and some rainfall, here to tell you more about your forecast is Chief Meteorologist Brett Cummins. Thanks, Perella. We still have some moisture going on in the form of some light showers across mainly central and east central parts of Arkansas. Some showers in Faulkner County, right over Conway right now. Also just to the south of I-40 in Lone Oak and Monroe County. And then over toward Phillips County in West Helena, picking up on a good amount of rainfall right now. Your forecast track shows that we're going to keep that through tonight, mainly across the southeastern one half of Arkansas. A lot of moisture, high humidity, temperatures and dew points about the same, so we're going to be seeing some fog during the overnight hours as well. Well, the stationary front is pretty much going to wash itself out through tonight. Cooler weather and drier weather off to the northwest, but as we go through tomorrow, looks like another surge of moisture across mainly southeast Arkansas, while the rest of us just an isolated shower or two at best. We'll watch a cold front to the north make its way to Ward, Arkansas on Friday. That combined with a little disturbance to the south will increase our chances of rain again. 71 for tonight, mostly cloudy and mild. We will be seeing some patchy light rain and some fog statewide out there. Tomorrow, 89 degrees, mostly cloudy with the scattered showers mainly confined to southeastern Arkansas. Your extended forecast again holds a 40% chance in for Friday. Temperatures right around 90. Then 93 for Saturday and 94 on Sunday. Just a 20% chance of some isolated showers heading in through Monday, Tuesday, and into Wednesday of next week. Back to the typical August time pattern with temperatures in the low to mid 90s for afternoon highs. It's a little dark out there today. I thought yeah. I might get poured on. Quite a this morning, a lot of rain last mm -hmm. night, uh, five to six inches in parts of the state, mm -hmm. so I think we're caught up anywhere. We should hope so. <laughs> I think so. All right, thanks. Fred, thanks very sure. much. Appreciate it. There's new information tonight on a News for Arkansas report that now has the attention of the governor. It involves problems with the State Office of Child Support Enforcement. News for Arkansas's Lyndall Stout is working on this story. Lyndall, what do you got for us at six? Bob, last night we told you about a mother frustrated with not getting any help with her child support case who decided to record her conversation with a child support enforcement employee. On the tape, the operator says again and again that there is no one available to help the woman. That operator was fired after that, and now she is speaking out to us. It's just how crooked it is there. Rita Atwood was fired yesterday shortly after we played her conversation to child support officials. Tonight at 6, you'll hear what else Atwood and other employees have to say about the lack of help parents get at the child support office. Bob? Okay, Linda, we'll see you in about 45 minutes or so. There's some good news out there. We may see some treatments for obesity soon. Up next, we're going to tell you how new research could help in the future.